tomorrow wasn't promised, what would you get for today? Forget everything else. Forget that there was any sunlight left. What would you spend today thinking about? Yourself or the man that's beside you? We get one opportunity in life. What if the job you have is the only job you get this year? What if the relationship you're in, what if that's the only relationship you get this year? What if what you have is all you get and you don't get no more? What, what if they're not giving out more than what we're going to do? How many of you know that if you had your life to live over again, you could do more than what you've done? That proves the point that what we do and what we accomplish in life is only a tip of the iceberg of what's possible for us. Based on all the evidence we have, we estimate you have 30 days left. I refuse to die and unlive life. If you died this very moment, what will die with you? What dreams? What ideas? What talents? What leadership potential? What greatness that you showed up to bring? That you allowed fear of procrastination to hold you back? Only to realize that you've never lived. Only to realize that you've never scraped this. If tomorrow wasn't promised, what would you get for today? Forget everything else. Forget that there was any sunlight left. What would you spend today thinking about? Yourself or the man that's beside you? We get one opportunity in life. What if the job you have is the only job you get this year? What if the relationship you're in, what if that's the only relationship you get this year? What if what you have is all you get and you don't get no more? What, what if they're not giving out more than what we're going to do? How many of you know that if you had your life to live over again, you could do more than what you've done? That proves the point that what we do and what we accomplish in life is only a tip of the iceberg of what's possible for us. Based on all the evidence we have, we estimate you have 30 days left. I refuse to die and unlive life. If you died this very moment, what will die with you? What dreams? What ideas? What talents? What leadership potential? What greatness that you showed up to bring? That you allowed fear of procrastination to hold you back? Only to realize that you've never lived. Only to realize that you've never scraped the surface of your potential. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house, and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller, and all we say is, please, at least leave us alone in our living rooms. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel-belted radios, and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. See, most people stop short of their dreams because of the rejections of life. You will always be rejected. I don't want you to protest. I don't want you to ride. I don't want you to write to your congressman because I wouldn't know what to tell you to write. I don't know what to do about the depression and the inflations and the crime in the street. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. You've got to say, I'm a human being. God damn it. My life has value. Whatever legacy you're going to leave, leave your legacy. Wins and losses come a dime a dozen. But effort, nobody can judge effort. Every time someone says no, that brings you another step to a yes. You're getting closer. Trust me, you will win if you don't quit. So that team that think they're ready to see you, they think what they see on film, they ain't so what film shows. Because every day is a new day. Every moment is a new moment. So now you got to go out and show them that I'm a different creature. Now! The three for the win! Yes! LeBron James!
Everybody got a dream. Everybody got a go. The question is, when you wake up in the morning, what effort are you putting forth? If you died this very moment, what will die with you? What dreams, what ideas, what talents, what greatness that you showed up to bring? life surface of your potential it's like everything everywhere is going crazy so we don't go out anymore we sit in the house and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller and all we say is please at least leave us alone in our living room let me have my toaster and my tv and my steel belted radios and i won't say anything just leave us alone well i'm not going to leave you alone i want you to get mad See, most people stop short of their dreams because of the rejections of life. You will always be rejected. I don't want you to protest. I don't want you to write. I don't want you to write to your congressman because I wouldn't know what to tell you to write. I don't know what to do about the depression and the inflations and the crime in the street. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. You've got to say, I'm a human being. God damn it. My life has value. Whatever legacy you're going to leave, leave your legacy. Wins and losses come a dime a dozen. But effort, nobody can judge effort. Every time someone says no, that brings you another step to a yes. You're getting closer. Trust me, you will win if you don't quit. So that team that think they're ready to see you, they think what they see on film, they ain't so what feels so. Because every day is a new day. Every moment is a new moment. So now you got to go out and show them that I'm a different creature. Now! You're free for the win again! Yeah. LeBron James! Everybody got a dream. Everybody got a go. The question is, when you wake up in the morning, what effort are you putting forth? If you died, this very moment, what will die with you? What dreams, what ideas, what talents, what greatness that you showed up to bring? One chance in life.